currently 5.40 and I'm home from work. Um, I got off at 4.30, but I didn't get home. Five, five, a little ten. after five. Um, I've just been dealing with FedEx and all of that package drama. Um, so just trying to figure out what happened to this missing package that was supposedly delivered. I read the tracking wrong though. I thought it got delivered on Sunday. That was the day it was actually shipped was on Sunday. It was delivered on Thursday. The second package was delivered on Friday. So the package that was delivered on Thursday is the package that is stolen or missing. Now FedEx is trying to tell me that um, the driver did not deliver it at the front door, even though according to tracking it says it was delivered at the front door, that he gave it to my apartment complex office. I called them today. They said they did not have it. I even checked the office like package room where they keep all of the packages. and. The only package I had was a Cincy package. There was no other package from PetSmart. So I was talking to my mom, because I don't know if you guys know this about my mom. She works for the post office for corporate headquarters. And obviously it's not the post office is situation, it's FedEx. But she was like, you really need to notify PetSmart that you have a missing package. Like maybe they can contact FedEx, you know, they can expedite this process. So I called to contact PetSmart and I'm honestly speechless. And for me to be speechless, like it's shocking. Um, and the guy was like, yeah, what's the order number? Like what's going on? So you're, and I told him the situation. He was like, well, yeah, you're doing the right thing by contacting us. He's like, and yeah, I'd actually be more than happy to resend out everything to you. Um, you know, as a courtesy due to the situation. And I was just like, uh, what? Like, really? This is, that's it? It's that easy? It was probably like a five minute co phone call, right babe? Five, seven minutes. I, I'm honestly still shocked by it. I was like, wow, this is like awesome customer service. So look at this yummy food my hubby made, guys. Green salsa chicken enchiladas. Oh, yeah. Well, anyways, I'm going to eat. Try to console this little one. Oh, was, oh, geez. You okay? Okay, good. But all right, yeah. So I'm going to eat, and I'll check on you guys later. Do you want to open up your Tsum Tsums? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's open them. I think we're going to have to get two next year. One for me and one for Alondra. <laughs> Since she loves it so much. And I do too. Okay, what is today? Oh my God, babe, she pointed to 21. She did that yesterday with 20. She knew which one it was. Put it this way. There you go, baby. Good job. Oh, I see it. It's Daddy's favorite. Can you get it out, baby? Yeah. Here, Mommy, hold it. Ugh. Pull hard, baby. Ow. Ow. Wow. Let me see. You want me to open? Look how cute, you guys. It's Tigger. With little reindeer ears. It's so cute. This is Gadam's favorite Winnie the Pooh character. We got, yeah, it's a big one. We got Eeyore the other day, too, and Eeyore's my favorite. Go show Poppy. Go show Poppy. He loves Tigger. Whoa. Isn't it so cute, though? I love the reindeer ears. Oh, you're eating? It was my really mouth good. is full, and I had sour cream on my Oh, my goodness. Calm I'm down, good, girl. I'm Gucci now. Calm down, girl. Oh, is that Tigger? Oh, nice. Yay. So we're getting ready to wrap Christmas presents, although we have to wrap them very trickily, sneakily. Alondra's presents doesn't matter. She's not going to remember what is what. Um, but what we have to be careful on is my presents, because like I told you guys, my mom um, shipped my presents to us, and so obviously nothing is wrapped. I'm trying to get her table from out of here. Yes, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. Um, so anyways, yeah, but so we're gonna wrap my presents. Well, Adam's gonna wrap my presents, and then I'm gonna wrap Alondra's. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out and relax and then get everything wrapped. Careful, baby, I don't want this to fall on you, okay? Um so yeah, that's what we're getting ready to do. Figured keep it chill, low-key, and uh just wrap these presents because Christmas, you guys, is in Four days, like, holy smokes. I can't even believe it. Will you get off that table? Ay, ay, ay. Can I put whatever's in this bag in that box? 
I guess. Because it's small. Just wrap whatever you want to wrap, baby. Whatever's easier for you. It would be easier if I just wrapped two boxes. <laughs> That's fine. I put the small one, I put it in your stocking. That one. Oh. No point in wrapping that. Okay. Or do you want more boxes to open? I want to open 20,000 boxes. No, baby, you can put multiple boxes. In. I told you, if it's easier to keep it in the box and wrap the box than to do that. Yeah, but this is in the bag, so I can't wrap the bag. But... Yeah, I know. Yeah, baby. I know. There's like chaos on the floor right now. So anyways, I don't even know what I was talking about because I got distracted. So yeah, let's wrap these presents, guys. Alondra gets a hold of the Sharpie, and this happens. Permanent marker all over the couch. Yep, I've heard about kids doing that, but uh, never thought that would happen to us. So that's awesome. So be careful, guys. Wrapping presents with children is legit a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell in some of the footage. Um, it's really hard to, like get her to like not want to like grab everything like the scissors which by the way where are the bloody scissors up there okay Jeez. so um yeah I think we only got two presents wrapped no. <laughs> uh-oh all right well anyways I'm gonna go back to wrapping presents I just wanted to show you this blood, blood, this awesomeness blood, that happened blood. to our cat So here's the presents, all nice and wrapped. We just have another package coming from my mom, which is going to be a big one for Alondra. So that, I don't even know if we'll wrap because it's probably going to be massive. So yeah, but that's all of our presents. And then I just have to do um, some more stocking stuffers for Alondra. I think I only have two in there. And then I have stocking stuffers in there for, Al for Alondra Freedom that I need to finish. And also update over here. Um, for the marker 
It's pretty much all gone. There's just the one spot here. Oh, you guys can't tell. If I take my phone from the laundry, it's probably have a meltdown. And there's just one spot there, but it was literally all over in this area. So there's just a tiny spot there and there. And so, yeah, we just used rubbing alcohol, right? Yeah, just good old rubbing alcohol to get that out. So I just need to do the two spots again. It'll come out. That was just like one application. So yay for rubbing hey. alcohol. Yay, yeah, who wrote, who wrote all over mommy's couch? <gasps> was it you? Pa it was Papa? Oh, okay. I'm going to give him a spanking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Edom's getting ready to um, go out. He has a massage, hour and a half massage, lucky dog, at 8.30 and it's 8.22. Um, luckily, it's like, <laughs> luckily it's close, but yeah, he needs help. Buddy. Bye. You. I love you. See so you guys I won't see him you. then. <laughs> oh, give me a kiss. Bye, guys. Aww. Bye. Bye. So anyways, Bye. guys, we have a confession. We feel so stupid, really stupid, but I'm going to confess to you guys because I was like, should I even tell them? But then again, you confused me because you said Sunday, so. Uh, whatever. We made a huge mistake. Yeah, we did. Um, bye, and it was love on, you. bye baby, it? I love you, drive safe. Yes, I'll lock it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ooh. Ooh. So anyways, back to the confession. It's confession time. So remember about the package I was complaining about to you guys? This whole time called FedEx made a claim I called PetSmart they're resending the pet I mean a new thing for free so we Dom goes to open up the boxes to wrap the presents and in our defense though let me see if I guys can show you guys the um the address so we did get our um box from PetSmart we just assumed it was from my mom um number one on the package it doesn't say that it's from PetSmart I don't even know like here let me show you guys so as you can see here I'm covering my address here with my hand but it doesn't say that it's from PetSmart or who it's from or anything. And it was in this box here. I just assumed it was from my mom. And no, yeah, it was from PetSmart. So when we opened the boxes just now to wrap presents, that was in there. Well, not just now because we've already, it's been a couple hours. I've already showered. So um, it was Wiggles. I ordered her medium-sized boots. Um, I actually ordered the small and the large, but I returned those because those didn't fit. So the medium, I need to try them on her, will hopefully fit. And then also... I ordered this Sherpa for the carrying case, which I need to return because obviously it didn't come in time for our trip to California. Plus this is too small. This was a medium and she needs a large. So anyways, yeah, I have to return that and then I need to try these on wiggles, make sure they fit. So yeah, we, we had them. So it's really embarrassing, honestly, um, because I, I don't feel like I was, I wasn't rude at all to, um, to no, FedEx or anything. No, I was just like, I'm just really no. confused what's going on. So, um, anyways, uh, I called PetSmart and I told them, hey, like, you know, I made a claim and you guys were generously going to mail me a new items, but please don't mail them because I have them. So they did cancel that. So they're not going to ship them. And she's like, wow, thank you so much for being honest. Like that really means a lot. And I was like, well, of course I'm going to be honest. I don't need another pair of boots and another carrying case. And then um, I called FedEx and I told them, hey, we found the package, so please cancel the claim. Because I don't want the driver to get in trouble either. Although the driver did say he, he gave the package to the um, office. And Edom was like, no, that package was at the door on Thursday morning. I remember now. So, like, now we all remember everything. It comes clear now. So, it was just, like, a big clearly misunderstanding. And so, yeah, I guess moral of the story is open your packages. I don't know. I feel so stupid, but I'm just coming clean uh, and telling you guys, yeah, we're a bunch of dodos. But I do feel a lot better that it's honestly Edom and I being the morons <laughs> and not that someone stole our package. Because I was seriously like, God, this really sucks that someone would like steal our package. That makes me feel like so uneasy that someone just came to our front door and took our package. So I'm embarrassed. Edom's slightly embarrassed too. That's what I was saying. I was like, I don't even know if I even want to like tell you guys that we had the package because it's so embarrassing, but I can't help it. I, I got to be true, right? So anyways, yeah. So Edom just left. I'm going to um, finish watching Beverly Hills Housewives and I'll just check with you guys a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight to you guys. It's 9.30. What, baby? Can you come here? Yes, come here. Hey, can you come here, please? 
she wants O-R-E-O-S. But she ain't getting them. No, 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 no. Come here. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm walking away. Bye. <laughs> She's probably going to have a meltdown. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight to you guys because it's 9.30 and I need to get to bed. I want to get a laundry to bed. And, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Edom. Um, like I said, he's got an hour and a half massage, so he's still got 30 minutes to go. So I'll probably be asleep before he even gets home. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. And, yeah, don't forget my Erin Condren video ends. Technically, when you're watching this, it ends today, December 22nd. So, if you want to enter into that video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Go over to that video and comment as many times as you want what your New Year's resolution is. She's like fake crying right now. Um, I'm going to end it at night. Um, yeah, so I'll definitely like comment and post on Twitter when I'm about to end the giveaway. So definitely if you want to get some last minute votes in, or votes, if you want to get last minute entries in, go and do it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to pick the winner tomorrow. Um, which actually when you guys watch this, it'll be today. But anyways... Her cries are getting a little bit louder, although they are fake. I still don't want her crying, even if it's fake crying. So I'm going to get her upstairs. I'm going to go to bed. So if you guys did enjoy today's vlog, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!